Hello, hello. So, I don't know if you guys have Thanksgiving on the mind. I know fall is on everyone's mind. Apple picking, pumpkin spice everything. Um, but maybe you have to go over to a friend's house and you want to bring an appetizer or a salad. Um, maybe you're not hosting Thanksgiving this year, but you can bring a side dish and you want to bring something different and fun. Or maybe you are hosting and you just want to change it up a little bit. I'm going to come up with a couple different recipes to show you, but this one right now is rocking in my opinion. Butternut squash over salad. We're going to do, let me start again. It's not butternut squash over salad, it's spinach salad with roasted butternut squash, quinoa, toasted pignoli nuts, and a little bit of curry and cinnamon, then drizzled with a lemon Dijon vinaigrette. Hmm. I bought a whole butternut squash. I used the top half of this part um, last night with dinner, so I had this left over, and I was like thinking, well, I mean, you could just roast it with cinnamon, sugar, a little bit of salt, pepper, and olive oil, and have a great little side dish. But let's get creative. Let's change it up. So, some washed baby greens. Uh, I'm using baby spinach. You can use peppered arugula. You can use kale. I wouldn't go red leaf or green leaf on this. I'd keep it with more, a little bit more substantial. So we'll put that on the side right now. We're gonna make a vinaigrette. We're gonna make a vinaigrette with some Dijon, some fresh lemon juice, some garlic, and some shallots. We're gonna put that there. And of course, we're gonna have some fresh herbs into that vinaigrette. But first, we gotta get our quinoa on. So, quinoa is two to one ratio. Put it in a pot, a little bit of salt, get it boiling. We'll come back and we'll start with the squash. So we have the butternut squash uh, and the pignoli nuts. We're gonna toast these. Now, if you don't wanna use pine nuts, um, you can use, I think, Walnuts would be awesome. I think toasted almonds. I think you need some kind of that nutty flavor with that toasted like crunch to it. So we're gonna use pine nuts because they're my favorite. And then just a little tip, uh, work with the, the squash while it's flat. Kind of want to tip it and you can use a peeler and you need a little muscle, got to get it in there and then you peel it like this, peel away and down from you. It might get stuck, but you don't want to take your fingers off. So this takes a minute. I'm not going to say it's easiest thing, but you want to peel your squash. And this part has the seeds in, so we're going to get that out in a second. But you peel yours, and I'll peel mine. Then we come back, we dice, and we season. All right. Butter squash peeled. You want to cut it in half. I suggest just using a spoon. You see the seeds, you want to take it. Now, if you were roasting these, you can scoop this out, and inside the cavity here, Put a little olive oil, a little cinnamon, get them in the oven. You can roast them. You can make um, butternut squash puree. You can roast them before you do butternut squash soup. It's endless. Squash season is so much fun. They have so many different things, so many fun salads you can do and change it up in side dishes. Personally, today's is going to be the best, the best. So taking the seeds out, cut our squash in half, scooped out the uh, seeds. So we're gonna cut, make sure you're working on a flat surface. Um, this is going to be a salad, so I don't want huge chunks, but I do want to feel each bite. So we're going to do a nice medium dice on this because they are going to shrink up a little bit when they get roasted. So I'm saying a nice medium dice so that there's some bite in the salad. Um, I'm going to dice this up, keep it on the side, then we get a mixing bowl. And with the middle, just cut straight through. Don't worry about it. Give it the same size you would if it wasn't all together. Another thing is, this is like a rustic-y look, sal like the salad looks rustic. Um, so not each piece is gonna be exactly the same size and that's okay, it's perfectly fine. Um, get this one more time. Ah, there we go. All of our squash is in a bowl and now we're gonna season it up. So in here is my seasoning mix. And I'm using green curry, so it gives you that nice curry flavor. And I'm using cinnamon and a little bit of pumpkin pie spice, uh, which has a little um, anise star and a couple other like seasonings that just give this really nice fall flavor. I'm gonna add that right in there. I'm gonna use avocado oil just to give it a good toss. Make sure it's all coated really, really well. Sheet pan. Um, I wrap it with foil, you can do parchment, 
This is going on middle shelf in the oven for 30 minutes, just some salt and pepper. Toss it halfway in between, just making sure that they're nice and tender and they get a little bit of brown on them. So I'm gonna give these a toss, get them on my sheet pan, get them in the oven, and we'll start working on the dressing. Little note, make sure you space. I sprayed this with nonstick spray, even though they are tossed into olive oil or avocado oil. Space them out. Space them out so they cook evenly. They're cut, you spend the time cutting them to be even. So now space them out so they can go in the oven and cook evenly. Hi nuts. Hot pan, okay? Throw them in. Don't leave. Don't walk away. Just slightly move them around like this. They'll start to toast. You can do them in the oven on a sheet pan, um, but you can also do them in a pan like this. And as long as you watch them and it's consistent heat, you'll toast these right up for our salad. You can do any nut like this. Walnuts, pecans, almonds, pine nuts, whatever you like. All right, let's make this dressing for this salad. I use a bullet, you can use a blender, you can use your hands, but I think the bullet or the blender is obviously the best way. So it's around two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, three small cloves of garlic and a piece of shallot, a handful of fresh parsley. Then I'm doing around a quarter cup of white vinegar and I'm juicing two whole lemons roll your lemons and if they're really not that great you can always nuke them in the microwave for a minute it just softens it and releases the juices um, make sure you season salt and pepper we're gonna add olive oil to this and then we're gonna blend that's it olive oil and then we're gonna blend and we'll have dressing once everything's in, I like to season right in here and then we'll season it after if needed because we will season the salad itself and the butternut squash is seasoned and our uh, quinoa is seasoned. So you don't want to go too crazy because then you can't take it back. You know what I mean? We're going to go blend this sucker up. Don't get nervous that it's green. You use fresh herbs. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is gonna go awesome with that butternut squash because it's sweet and has a little spice from the curry. So fresh. This can stay in a mason jar in your fridge up to two weeks. So if you wanna make a big batch of it, feel free. Um, we have our quinoa that's nice and cold. We have our butternut squash that got roasted and has been sitting out. We got our toasted pine nuts and we got our baby greens. Let's make a salad. I always pre-wash my greens are in a Ziploc baggie. You can toss this all together or you can layer it the way I'm gonna do it. Either way is fine. But like I said, this is a great dish that's a little different that you can bring for a party, for Thanksgiving, as a salad. You can plate it up while you're there. You don't have to do it ahead of time. So that you can, oh yeah. Hold on, hold on. This is awesome. And look at that. Pouring that dressing right on top. This is going to be the perfect, colorful, delicious, fresh, light, awesome, I love that word today, awesome salad that you can serve. It screams fall and it's perfect with any dinner. Perfect moment when you drizzle the salad with the dressing and your mouth starts to water. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. You don't have to use quinoa, by the way. You can use farro, bulgur, whatever. A couple of toasted pine nuts, oh yeah. Now, if you make it, tag me. Oh my God, that is so good. The dressing makes it. And the, I didn't put any agave or sugar in my dressing. The sweetness comes out from the butternut squash. This is killer. You make it. Tag us, check out our YouTube, check out our TikTok. We'd love to have you follow us. More recipes, hear your thoughts, different ideas. Screams fall, screams fall. Oh my God, so good.